Good morning. I don't know when this will air. It might not be morning, but it's morning for me, which is unusual. Usually all of my videos are done more in the evening time. But I want to talk about something. And uh, what it is, is, is why I recommend the types of stones that I do. I have a, uh, several people that contact me and have contacted me over years. And this video was triggered by a recent subscriber who contacted me and said basically look I'm unemployed uh, I lost my job you know a couple weeks ago and all I've got is an old junky aluminum oxide stone from Amazon and I'm looking at trying to find a stone that is cheap that will polish out an edge and he mentioned jade okay so I want to talk a little bit about jade and the reason that I don't recommend it and understand that I don't have any experience with actual what they're calling natural jade sharpening stones. They might work really well. I don't know. But I have no interest in them. I stick to uh, traditional sharpening stones that have stood the test of time okay uh, but we're I'm gonna start out talking about jade and just explain why I don't uh, recommend it okay but I'm not picking on anybody selling jade or anybody sharpening with jade like I said I don't have the experience to know uh, but this the root of this is that the stone that the gentleman was linking to is not a jade stone the description in it it says that it's a, a natural green stone this is one of the chinese sellers okay it doesn't look like any jade i've ever seen and it's like four inches by less than an inch thick and about two inches wide. Okay, it's only seven dollars, but but we're gonna get to that. Um, uh, Keith Johnson did a really good video on stones like this and why you should leave them alone. And I'll get to that, but he. You know, called this stone jade because the description in the ad copy kind of alludes to jade. So that's what he's thinking that it is. That, that's my guess. But jade specifically, there's two reasons. I don't recommend jade. I don't, I've never tried jade and don't ever want to. Okay, as a sharpening stone, and you can say well, that is close-minded of me if you want to, go right ahead. I don't have a problem with you saying that. But jade to me, number one, until five years or so ago, I never heard of jade as a sharpening stone. I don't know of any history of jade being used uh, in a, I'm talking widespread, okay, like, uh, uh, oh, uh, slate or uh, novaculate, uh, Arkansas stones or codicles or n you name it. There are a number of well known, well uh, proven sharpening stones, natural stones, JNATs that come out of the ground that people have used for centuries and millennia that are proven. Now there might be some kind of rich history in some part of the world that I've never been to and never studied or whatever. There might be some kind of rich history of jade being used to sharpen in those areas. And I'm not knocking it. I also realize that there are many entrepreneurs out now that are selling their mining, self-mining and cutting and selling jade to sharpen stones. And this is not an attack on them. If you are buying stones from these people and the jade is working for you and you like it, use it. 
okay? But what strikes me about it is, first of all, I've never, up until like five years or so ago, okay, even heard of jade being used that way. Jade, all the jade that I have ever known, has always been for thousands of years, again, a semi-precious stone. In the Japanese religions and the Chinese religions, jade is thought to have mystical or magical properties because of the beauty of and richness of the green color of true jade. And also, it has a warmth to the touch. Now, you can buy reconstituted jade stone all you want to, cheap as chips, okay? Because all it is is the, the uh, powder off of what they've been cutting off a of natural jade and they put it together in a binder and all, but that's not the same thing as true jade. True jade is expensive, okay? And it always has been. So a 10 or $12 Jade sharpening stone that's this flipping big, that you that's six or eight inches long and two inches deep and two inches or an inch deep and two inches wide for fifty bucks. Or for this one like you know, they want seven bucks for a two by four by point eight inch stone. And it's that's not jade anyway, but I'm just saying it it does not hit my brain right because jade is expensive real jade real true jade is expensive it's not cheap okay, that's one but another i don't know of any industrial company and yes i'm talking industrial company i'm talking not talking about entrepreneurs people that are rock hounds that got here and dig rock out of the ground and and cut it up and turn it into a sharpening stone and stuff like that i'm not disparaging them there's some fantastic guys and gals out there doing that and producing uh fantastic sharpening stones okay of whatever type of stone we're talking about and that's well proven you can find them on the knife sharpening forms and stuff like that okay but no industrial company whose business it is to sh to sharpen things and supply industrial and homeowners with a sharpening medium none that i'm aware of has ever marketed jade successfully as a sharpening stone or a sharpening medium. None of them that I know. You can't go to the store and buy from a well-known established company that deals in sharpening stones and sharpening media a jade sharpening stone. There's no brand name jade sharpening stone like a Norton or whatever out there. That should tell you something about what's going on with that stone in my mind but and that's why I don't recommend stuff like I only recommend stones that I personally have used that I know will do the job that they're meant to do so that when people who are trying to learn from me use the stone I know that they have a high probability of success when they put steel to stone. I don't recommend anything else. Now, if I recommend a stone that's mined by a private individual or an entrepreneur, it's because I've used the stone extensively enough to know that it's a quality stone for sharpening. And there's a ton of different stones out there I have never tried. And there's a ton of them I don't want to because I don't need to. But, you have to understand, I just brought Jade up because that's what he called Jade and because I've been asked over and over and over about my opinion of Jade as a sharpening stone, you just got it. For what it's worth, that's, uh, uh, I wish everybody that's uh, honestly promoting whatever stone they're promoting, whether it's Jade or anything else, that, that are honestly 
trying to provide a good product and all of that, I wish them all the success in the world, but I will not recommend jade as a sharpening stone for the reasons that I just mentioned. But now, this guy sent me a link to a stone that I don't have a clue what it is. It says green sharpening stone, but the stone is mostly white with like a little light purplish looking, at least the color, the picture that I saw on the Amazon link. And you'd have to squint really hard to even see some light green streaks, maybe, in that stone. It had a big occlusion, a big crack, basically, that had, had sealed up against itself because it had been in the ground forever. Okay. There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of fake sharpening stones. And the ad copy on this one, a 10,000 grit. You need to understand there's no such thing as a grit rating in a natural stone. Grit rating is just a man-made way of describing how a, a man-made stone sharpens because the grit that was put together in a binder to make that stone is all of a particular uniform size that they have a way of grading and determining well this size of particle is this type of grit this amount of grit okay so when people start using grit ratings for natural stones you, your eyes need to go and you need to pay attention because there's no such thing there's approximate grit ratings and all the natural stones that I have ever seen uh, there's a sharpening site I forget the name of it uh, the science of sharp I think is what it is but there's a sharpening site that is looked at like the micron particles of things like J nats and and coticals and Escher's uh, thuringians and things like that stones natural stones that uh, are in common use and every one of them oh 8k is all that is well yeah if you look at particle size you can call those stones 8k but they're a natural stone they're not a man-made stone that has set up in a very controlled kind of way okay and there's more to those stones than the particle size. What that is, I don't know. I just know they work, and men have found that they work very well over thousands of years. Don't waste your money on a stone from Amazon nobody knows about, no one's ever heard of, that where they're making a description of the stone that's so vague and broad and varied that what they're doing is relying on your mind to make a leap Say, oh, well, that's what that stone is. It's a natural green stone. Oh, that's jade. Don't do it. You're wasting your time and you're wasting your money. You'd be infinitely, if you're a new sharpener and you're looking for a stone that will do the job, you'd be infinitely better off to buy that. This is a Norton IBA. It's a, a coarse, fine India or uh, aluminum oxide in a binder. This is technically an oil stone, but if you watch my channel, I use soap and water on oil stones and it works just fine. But you can use oil on it if you want to. But it has a 140 side grit coarse side and a 400 grit fine side, which in JIS would be 700 grit, I think uh, is what it amounts to. But you'd be infinitely better off buying something like this for 25 bucks off of Amazon. It's a 2 inch by 8 inch by 1 inch stone. And this stone will last till you're dead. If you're 20 years old and you buy this stone, you'll pass it on to your grandchildren if they are interested in sharpening. Okay, if you hang on to it. For 25 bucks, okay? And it's well known... It's well established. Everybody knows these work. And then if you want a mirror polish, go make you a cheap strop, cheap piece of leather, or a flat piece of wood and some chromium oxide crayon. 
from Harbor Freight or wherever it is you Amazon you can get them off of Amazon for 10 bucks for a big old huge one okay easy what do you spend 30 bucks 40 bucks maximum on that and that piece of plywood or a piece of MDF uh, any cheap off cut you got a two before off cut that you take a and make flat okay with some 60 grit sandpaper and a flat piece of glass or anything you, you know lay it on your counter and you know dude there ain't any question whether or not that works and there's no mystery of what that is there's a history behind this stone from your father, your grandfather, and your great-grandfather, and probably his grandfather. When did it start? Let's see. Uh, 1823. It's when Pike Manufacturing, which turned into Norton, started with stuff like this okay it's well known it's well documented it's it's well understood and it does the job and that's why i don't recommend things like jade and other stones that i've never dealt with or heard of and never seen uh, uh commonly offered you can go down to lowe's and buy an arkansas stone it's not a very good one but you can go down there or to walmart or any other place is there a store uh, uh, that besides maybe like a little mom and pop thing where they're trying all kinds of things, is there a jade stone that you can go to most regular stores, that hardware store or any place like that, and buy to sharpen your knife with? No, there's not, not to my knowledge. Okay, or any of the other stones, uh, uh, particularly the mystery ones. The jade might work for you. I know that some people say that it does. But these mystery stones that are on Amazon where they're writing copy that, uh, ad copy that makes you kind of figure out for yourself exactly what it is or come to a conclusion about what that stone is. Don't buy that. You'll be sorry. Bless you. I'll talk to you later.